Morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video on living in Halifax. Today, we did a little bit of a road trip down the South Shore to the village of Chester, Nova Scotia, located about 45 minutes on a divided highway. But we're going to be doing a neighborhood tour down here. It's kind of almost cottage country, but there's a good mix of people who live here year round, uh, some who commute into Halifax, and then people who have summer homes, cottages, all that kind of stuff. So we'll try to get you some good footage. We got a little fog out here today, but we're going to be going over the vibe, amenities, um, and the housing, as we always do. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty, so let's talk about some of the amenities. Now I'm standing out front of the Chester Yacht Club, which is a big staple for a lot of the communities around the South Shore, whether it's Home Bay, Lunenburg, Chester, Hubbards. It tends to be along the South Shore of Nova Scotia that you get a lot of people with kind of that yachting culture, sailing, getting out in the boat in the summertime, fall, spring. Um, but other factors in, in within Chester, you've got quite a few little restaurants. A lot of them happen to be little seaside restaurants. You've got Hardware stores, grocery stores, liquor stores. Hospital, your closest one is probably going to be in Lunenburg, uh, which is, I would say, about a 20, 20 minute drive. Um, and that's the Fisherman's Memorial Hospital. Alternatively, if you have something more serious, you can always go into Halifax. Again, it's about a 45 minute drive. But Chester's also got a great golf club in the form of the, the Chester Golf Club. And again, this is kind of a, a seaside get outside community so there's a couple of walking trails you've got the rails to trails which connects all the way to halifax where the old railway used to be um and they've torn that up and you can basically bike or walk or hike along this really great smooth gradient um trail uh and then you know you that trail down here kind of wraps right along the coast so you get some really great views when you're walking along going over bridges and everything but again chester's going to be kind of your small town uh, seaside vibe a lot of people kind of compare it to what you'd find in in maine uh, and kind of up the northern uh, u.s seaboard there in those smaller towns but it's going to have everything you need kind of really close by right here All right, so here's your grocery store and liquor store, and this is all located just outside of kind of the, the main town of Chester. So here's a little pizza spot, as well as one of the many kind of general stores. There's a lot of little arts and craft, I guess, stores around here owned by local artists and whatnot. You get that all the way down the South Shore, which is pretty great. All right, so here we are in kind of the main drag of the village of Chester. So there's little pubs everywhere, little shops. Uh, it's a good little kind of walking, walking tour area. And uh, again, at the summertime, this place is uh, it's quite the spot to visit. And in the wintertime, it just gets wider. All right, so let's talk about the vibe. Now, Chester kind of is a bit of a uh, vacationing community. People do live here year round, but it really kind of hits tourism season when the summer, the spring, and especially the fall roll around. People tend to kind of come to Nova Scotia in the latter half of the summer, as well as in the fall to see the fall color. So throughout the year, you've got kind of uh, a quieter uh, feel about the place in the winter and then in the summer things really pick up you get a lot of people come down here from the city as well as tourists uh, other than that though it tends to be a quieter town there is some fishing industry down in this neck of the woods and some other local industries but overall you're going to have a bit of an older population not as many uh, young folks around here um, but you're still going to get a few young families mixed in there as well so overall Chester is going to give you kind of uh, a quieter seaside vibe uh, in the summer, it picks up, gets a bit more of a, a vibrant heartbeat, um, and it provides you kind of a, a, a differing vibe throughout the year, depending on what's going on in and around town. 
All right, so now when we talk about the housing in Chester, there's quite a few options. Obviously, because we're so close to the city, if you get something on the water, it's going to be priced quite highly. You know, you can get up into the million dollar range pretty quick with some of those mansions. In the Chester village of Chester, which is almost this island that uh, spits out from the uh, rest of the province. If you're in the village of Chester, it can also be quite expensive. You've got big homes like the ones behind me here. Um, but then when you kind of get to the little outskirts of Chester, then it, price points can start to drop in price. It really just depends on what you're looking for and where you're looking for uh, when it does come to the houses. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Chester. Once again, I'm Tom Moore with Remax, and I help people just like yourselves move to Halifax and the surrounding areas all the time. We have people reaching out from all over the world, truly. So if you're thinking about making a move out here, looking for a little advice on where to be, uh, what kind of the fit is for your vibe or your lifestyle or your budget or anything like that, we'd love to help you out. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. We come out with one of these videos on living in Halifax, and I guess the surrounding areas every single week. So have a great day.